hi everybody welcome back to another video today in this video i will show you how to draw shear force and bending moment diagram graphically before i start i want to tell you that one thing you need to know is the order of the line so if it's a point load it becomes a straight line and if it's a straight line it becomes a line like this and so this is y equal to x and then it becomes a uh, like y equal to x square and then it becomes if it's x square it becomes like x cube x4 x5 so the order is like this let's go ahead and do an example problem okay so we have a beam on this beam uh, we have a roller at a and we have a 500 pound point load from here to here is 6 feet uh, we have a pin at B which is 200 pound and at the free end we have a 300 pound which we call it E the distance from here to here is 6 feet as I said from here to here is 8 feet from here to here is 8 feet okay right away with graphical inversion we can move to the shear force and bending moment diagram so s f d we draw it right away so this is v in pounds and we have a x in feet so right here we can see that we have a, re a reaction so you find the reaction by yourself but i tell you for uh, purpose of this video 114 and right here 114 okay so and this one to be by so b by we can see straight right we go up straight we go up to 114 and then we go down because this 500 takes us negative 500 down so negative 385 and then we go straight nothing happened and then we have another one we have to go up because of this by we go up how much this plus the reaction which is 300 right here So 385 plus 380, so 685. This means that by is 685. Right? We go up this way. And nothing happens again. We go this way. And then we see 300 goes down to, to 0. So this is what our shear force diagram. So if you look at this order of line, you can do the bending moment diagram too. Bending moment diagram. So for the bending moment diagram, the, a straight line, right? So it becomes slant. Like this. And then again, straight, right? Like this. And then again, straight, right? okay like this and these right here is the area under these ones so we can see the area under that is 685 and right here is negative 2400 and again this is what moment x and we draw these lines like that you can put the distances too 6, 14, 22, 
six fourteen twenty two. There you go. So this is the shear force and bending moment diagram we uh, very fast created. If you have any question about it, feel free to uh, comment below. I'll respond as soon as possible. If not, uh, you also can watch my other videos on structure analysis. The link is above. And that's it for today. I hope you come to my next video and learn some more. Thank you so much for watching.